anyway, so, um, I have something in front of me as you heard me tapping. I don't know if you can tell by the sound of the tapping, but it's a Louis Vuitton bag. It's the big orange one. Bigger than my screen and my face and my back. So, smart people know what this is right away. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <clears throat> I mean, you might have a guess based on how large it is. Um, it does narrow it down. It's not a mini bag. Um, but let's just say it's not one. It's one of the most inexpensive large hand bags or bags you can get from Louis Vuitton. Vuitton. Voodooton, whatever it is. <sighs> so, um, let's open her up um, and you will see what I am talking about. Um, so excited, you guys. I've waited a long time to open this bag. I've waited over a month, honestly, and I don't really know why. Kind of because I've never had time to sit down and do an unboxing video because I want to do a true unboxing video. And I was so insane that I waited a month till I had time and energy to do it. But I believe when you unbox a Louis Vuitton bag and you want to do an unboxing video, you gen genuinely want to be ready for it. Right? I don't know. I don't know. That sounds absolutely insane. <sighs> right? It's like having a child. I'm like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. So, but no, but not really. I'm really, I did like, I don't know. I really did wait a month to open this just because I really didn't have time and energy to do a true unboxing video. And I know that's absolutely insane, which is really, in, actually, it's really, never mind. Never mind. Let's just open it up. Okay. I could go on a whole tangent about why that's insane. But. You're here for this, not for the tangents, I know, because I'm here for this and not for my tangents. So, I'm gonna, um, how am I gonna do this? This is like bigger than life. I might have to rethink this, guys. Give me one second to fix this. One second. I think this might actually work. Okay, so I'm gonna stand. Oof. I mean, I still, like, I mean, otherwise you wouldn't see me. I'd be like, hi guys. <laughs> Actually, I mean, I could do that. Is that more fun for you? It's, I, it's neutral fun for me. I like kind of standing better because I kind of like have the up on it in case it jumps at me. So, um, as usual, does anybody else? freak out when they open like actually get to I don't know because is this just an online problem because um if you're buying in store I mean aren't you pretty confident you're getting the bag you just touched and handled and were shown I've heard horror stories of when that's you get a different bag than the one you touched in here and they're like oh it's a sales model we're gonna go give you something from the bag I okay I'm going I'm sorry okay so it fell out Ooh, and there's some, uh, so this should have been set down, plus the one, it's not ruined, you guys, I mean, if it is, oh well, so it didn't fall out, but it opened up a lot, so there's the bag, there's the rest of my outfit, like I said, goodbye bag, okay, <laughs> receipt, y'all, bye, it's real, um, the box is upside down and I'm flipping it over like a cake. There's the box. It is large and in charge. I'm loving life. And it, yeah, I got a little damage when I flipped it. Whew. Catalog, I'm sure. It was semi the catalog. Let me just, yeah, catalog. Um, wow, they actually gave me a perfume sample. I'm actually shocked. Why didn't I open this sooner? You know, this little thing that always comes in it and, um, like, I guess if you put a message or something, I should guess I should, oh, it's a tiny envelope. How cute. 
it's glued shut. Whatever, I'm gonna fill with that later if we're fine. Uh, <laughs> or just never touch again. I'm pretty sure it's just in case he wanted to write a message. And um, luckily, I didn't really damage anything because it's all in the bag and it's, it's a sturdy, sturdy bag I got, so I'm not really concerned. <sighs> Ribbon in the box. DIY girl. Uh, is cute though, like hair ribbon moment, right? Make my own, like, put it on around the brim of a hat or something. I don't know. Could do some cute stuff with it. Really cute, actually. Mother's Day gifts for the little ones. Okay. Um, here we go. Oh, yeah, let me show you what I got. So here's what, <laughs> here's what it looks like. I showed you the bag of a box. Here's the box with the bag in the box because you know you want the full moment effect it's so large and entirely good so um, i'm like what did i get again so some of you probably have figured it out it's a men's briefcase no i'm just kidding it is pulling the baby out of the uterus right here this is the uterus this is the c-section i hope you like my um c-section analogies here we go here we go. It is the Speedy 40. Isn't that adorable? I'm in love. It's so cute. So I'm going to open her up. Inside is the lock and key per use. Adorbs. I love it. Um, you can fill with that later, everything else. Um, on the inside, you can see I got, it's the only color you can get brown for this larger size. Ooh -hoo. And that's a nice dark brown. I don't know if you can really see, but that will hold up very well so beautiful you guys oh my god oh my god honestly can i say i thought it was gonna be bigger like twice as big so i'm gonna double check the size i got just in case but even if i did order something bigger i like this one okay because i really thought the speedy 40 was like the giant duffel bag but i probably I think I might have a, I don't know. I'm gonna look into it, but regardless, I really love this one because this is actually cuter, right? Yeah. And this is more actually practical. Um, <clears throat> so you can see this has the raw vachetta uh, handles, as well as some trim and where you would put the lock and key, or I'm sorry, um, if you wanted to lock it, and oh my god, I'm just like in shock, you guys. Whew. I'm sorry, give me a moment. Um, inside you have the one zipper per use on like the Neverfulls and Speedies right there. Oh, open your mouth, lady. Sorry, my sweet darling. <laughs> so you can see there's one zipper here. Boom. And does this say where this one was made? I don't see anything you should see something um probably inside the zipper there's that paper i'm not really seeing the thing so um let um let me know if you guys know where to find the maiden but i'm assuming usa probably because if you order from usa they do usually send it out of the texas factory um so um, Texas is pretty great for Louis Vuitton, you guys. Um, when I did a layover in Texas, everyone had Louis Vuitton. It just made me so happy. Um, and Houston, specifically. And men had Louis Vuitton, women had... Why am I holding it like a bad thing? Um, sorry. Um, women had bags, men had bags. Um, everybody had Louis in the Houston airport, which was really cool when I was uh, going to New Orleans. So I love this, it's so cute. 
it's like a true doctor bag, right? I do need to puff it out a little bit. Um, as you can see, it doesn't really um, necessarily come poofy. You have to poof it yourself. DIY poofing, kind of the theme of the baby shower. It's okay, because once you get it, it's like your own thing. So when you handle this, this does not have the strap. I knew that, no bando. I knew that, no bando. I wanted it that way because, um, oh, I found the thing. Louis Vuitton Paris. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean it was made in Paris, right? Um, I'm assuming USA still. So, um, give me a moment to like put this down and um, investigate my receipt. I do want to open the perfumes though. So the thing is, it doesn't really matter if this is the wrong one because A, I like it and B, it's past the return date. And C, this bag I actually wanted more. So, um, I mean, the pricing might be a little different though. It doesn't even say on here. It's exchanges. I don't know yeah, about that. I think I just have no concept of measurement. Speedy 40. So maybe that is a sport. Um, this is definitely bigger than my Speedy 30. So yeah, I have no concept of measurement, y'all. I believe this, let me go get my Speedy, my other one, and we'll compare and solve the mystery for once and for all. Let me go grab my Speedy 30 and the dummy bit with the uh, red interior. And we'll compare sizes so we can put this to rest whether a i have no concept of measurement <laughs> um, or b they i actually was given the wrong bag which in any case doesn't matter i love it love it love it so pause go get yourself a crumpet and some tea get some scottish breakfast that's super caffeinated so maybe not maybe get yourself some chamomile and then uh, crump it. Okay, I'll see you in a few. Okay, I found it. I got it, you guys. Oh, I got it. I got it. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Okay, so here's my Speedy 30. I think that's what this is. <laughs> this is a Speedy 30, y'all. Um, it is smaller, right, than this right that this is bigger than this see how much yeah extra over here and a little over here so i think maybe this is 30 all right now this is 40 and this is 30. so you can see it has a difference in size and yeah so I'm not crazy. This is a speedy 40 and this is a speedy, I believe 30, okay? Oh, they're so cute. So this one you see is the Bamier bin and that has the treated Vichata handles which are great because they will not stain, right? They might have some friction causing and wear and normal wear and tear over the years, uh, many, many years, right? Those you can get replaced by Louis Vuitton. Um, and they're water resistant. These on the other hand, say your five-year-old just wanted to go achoo everywhere all over here. You would probably want to like get that up with a napkin pretty quickly because you don't want water stains on this one. Um, but if you hold this bag with your hands like a normal person, use it normally, like I'm holding right now, it will naturally patina. And I am fine with that. That is the part of the life uh, cycle of these bags, if you will, and part of your journey with these bags, shall you say. Um, <laughs> so um, it is natural to have natural patina happen over time. However, on a brand new bag, you probably don't want giant obvious splotches on the fresh Vachetta. So what I recommend you doing um, from experience is letting this sit out 
um, in your room, um, in the window, not like right in the window, but you know, where the window will reach it, <clears throat> the light through the window will reach it and let it sit there for a day um, while you're uh, working. And then the next day, turn it to the other side and rotate it. So the other side will evenly uh, build a base patina, if you will. So you're tanning your bag, right? So you're switching it each day so it builds a base tan, just like any celebrity. So um, it really is up to you if you want to do that or not, or just go for it. Have fun. It's your bag. Do whatever you want. So I love that this is dark brown on the inside. It's not like beige. Like I thought it'd be lighter. Oh, and I love the monogram. So as you can see, the cool thing about this bag is that it is all cut from one piece of canvas on the bottom. So if you're looking at this, you can tell this is the front of the bag because the logo, the LV monogram is facing correctly. And then as you rotate the bag up, it flips. So if you're looking at the back side of the bag, it looks like it's upside down. But the sides are definitely right side up. It is just so cute, you guys. This would be a great work bag. Like, I feel like a doctor. I feel smarter. Definitely. <laughs> Whew, I'm excited. I am, like, so sad I didn't open this earlier. So I hope you guys um, like that. I'm going to bring this camera down. Ooh, okay, my bad. So here she is again in her pride and glory. Um, so I did order this right be Oh my God, please don't see my porcelain dog. Okay, so... <laughs> um, <laughs> just kidding, you guys can see it. I know, it's just there, she's... Whatever. Um, I bought this right before the recent price increase at the end of January slash beginning of February. Um, and so I got really lucky... Um, I actually picked it up from a different store than usual and I really enjoyed that experience because um, I was going to a mall type situation before and I think it's just because there's so many teenagers there they get really cranky <laughs> so I went to a different one and they were less cranky. Um, I mean they're always surprised to see me as a client because they don't think I look like their typical client to be honest at least in my neighborhood slash area so um uh, I do always like to shop online first so that way there's no like oh you know what I mean like I don't want you to have this bag so I'm gonna tell you you don't have it so that's why I do my online secret stuff. Nothing that horrible. I'm just, I just, there are certain times of the day that it is most practical to check the website on Louis Vuitton. They restock things at certain times. So I'm just letting that chill there for a second. It looks cute, doesn't it? So this can go downstairs. This is another, never mind. Um, <laughs> save that for another day. Um, so, totally forgot what I was saying. May I just get over it. So, <laughs> I guess that's it. Oh, perfume time, my favorite time. I've always wanted to try these. And um, I, I've always been thinking about buying it online and I never do. So they gave me some stuff. Last East Das. Spell on you. Spell on you. So that's for me to spray those on. Okay, cool. La la la. Louis Vuitton Master Perfume Jacques Cavalier Belle Trout is pleased to share with you his latest creation for the women. Spell on you. I, that's actually the one I wanted because that's, oof. That was the one they were like promoting around Halloween because of the name. And they were also promoting around Valentine's because it's like a, a romantic spell. I'm casting a love spell on you. So the iris is a love potion unto itself. It's said to literally set the senses a world. I guess that's my French accent. <laughs> um, And that's a jacques. Cavalier, 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 Cav, 
whatever some but no don't correct me i don't care <laughs> okay i do care a little bit valetude who <laughs> yeah jacques uh, okay spell on you let's get to it i cannot read french i am so sorry i need to learn i am so 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 sorry so inside i have two little samples of spell on you Sickening. I thought it'd only be one or two different ones. So I'm kind of excited, but I kind of hope I like it because I have two. <laughs> so isn't that cute? Even the box says Louis Vuitton. Okay, if I could only get my thumb off of it. Ooh. And turn it. Oh my gosh, what a major fail. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. So there is Spell on You. Let's see. There is a sample and I don't think it says the notes on here but the iris so iris is kind of um a heavy floral right I don't know so I'm just gonna oh no spray it on the card that's what it's there for use what they gave you Lindsay be smart okay so here's the card I'm spraying it away from the ravachetta because that would stain right just like your five-year-old sneeze okay Oh, it's kind of, um, um, I want to say old lady-ish, uh, but that doesn't mean I don't like it. <laughs> um, it's not too powdery for how powdery irises are, if that makes any sense. And, um, I'm getting rose in the middle. And it's gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know what the base is in a second here. So, obviously, opens with iris. Iris heavy, kind of like maybe some gardenia. I don't know, white florals too, and like a, some lemon or pear, some citrus. Then it turns to, oh, uh, ooh, I like the, okay, so once you get over the old lady, woo, you're like, it's, it's kind of like a nice, rose I smell roses that's not I guess that's iris I don't know to me it smells like more like rose and sandalwood or rose and like some sort of wood so I'm thinking there's some sort of wood in the base I don't know I should probably look it up but um <clears throat> I'll post it in the description below once I look it up so that's my guess um because it's kind of woody, kind of rosy, kind of irisy and powdery, like old lady, old lady, old lady, and uh, a little citrusy when it opens at the top notes, right? So it's top notes, middle notes, bottom notes, right, guys? God know these things. Okay, now the iris is coming back again. It's kind of getting like powdery again. This smells like a fancy old lady on a cruise boat who still smokes cigarettes because she don't care. But, and that's why she wears this perfume because she smokes cigarettes and she kind of still like, you know, she wants to smell good though. So maybe she lives in Vegas though. So, but she's, she also takes cruises. Whew. I like it. It does make you feel like I am a very rich old lady uh, in a very expensive town car riding throughout Manhattan wearing a mink coat and um, gloves, of course, because you, you're still in that era, right? You still believe in class. Okay, well, um, that was weird enough for you, I'm sure, but whew, it is strong. I only did one spray, so um, definitely, um, I, I like it. I'd recommend it, honestly. Um, is it going to be everyone's cup of tea? No, but that's kind of why I like it. I, <laughs> I like it. Um, it's different. You're not going to smell this on everybody, which is why I like it. What are you going to smell on everybody? Chanel. Which is fine. Chanel smells great. I'd rather you smell like Chanel and something else. 
um, than other things for sure. Um, ooh. Okay, sorry, I'm getting like all weird again. When you do get it away from your face and don't like make yourself inhale it for two minutes like I was, you do get like more of a softer, sweeter, like smoky, woody, almost cotton candy vibe. Um, and that's kind of coming from the iris is it's natural powderiness, right? Um, without smelling artificial. And that, this doesn't smell artificial at all. I actually really like that this smells like natural things. I think it's pretty cool. I, like, I, I love perfumes that change. Yeah, so uh, that's probably why I like it so much. I actually might get the big bottle of this. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try it out, but I think people might be offended. Some people are like, oh, nice cologne. And I'm like, it's like fine perfume and it's unisex. Come on now. That's what everything is nowadays. It doesn't matter what you market it as. It doesn't, people are going to buy it if they like it. So I actually really like it. How did they notice? Okay, no, I'm going to keep that like... Well, I kind of like that in the case, and then I could put that in my bag. That way, if it did, like, pop open, at least it's, like, somewhat protected in the case. So, probably leave that hanging out over here. I got a couple of them, so yay. Um, still, I think I would try and get the perfume if I could. Um, I'm going to try it out first. You know me. I'm like, oh, I need the perfume. But that was really nice of them to give me samples. I actually would never... <laughs> expect that but you know perhaps they've warmed up to me a touch I can't tell which one I sprayed anymore oh I'll figure it out later you guys don't worry about it so um once again thank you for tuning in I hope you enjoyed seeing my speedies be unboxed again um my speedy whatever not this one was not reborn I'm sorry why did I say that Ugh. But it's still just as cute. Mommy, baby, right? It's the best. I love having the both sizes because you have options. Okay, enough. Um, have a great week, y'all. Um, thanks for tuning in.